The Competition Commission's orders are impacting the balance sheet of Indian corporates even if they appeal against it, says Akhil Hirani, managing partner of Majumdar and Company. In an exclusive conversation earlier with Bloomberg TV India's editor Vivek Law, he began by asking him if the heightened activity in litigation is a first of its kind. Yes, we have seen some activity before. I mean, you know, if I go back to 92 when I became a lawyer, you had uh, the Harshad Mehta scam, you know, which was really big in those days. And nobody had, you know, seen or heard of anything as mammoth as that in terms of the fraud and so on. So you saw a whole spate of securities legislation and the SEBI come about and, you know, a significant amount of litigation. But then that was, I would say, a, a pocket, you know, or a certain area of litigation. I think what's happened over the last few years, and, and in particular in the last year or so, is that you've seen uh, litigation across the board. You've seen judicial activism, you've seen uh, regulatory activism. So I think it's now sort of pervading or per become all pervasive in different segments of, of law and regulation which probably is at an all-time high and which is something that we haven't seen before. Domestically, if I were to come, Akhil, uh, what's the mood among Indian corporates today? It has been a very painful period. Sure. Are you seeing increased activity as far as M&A is concerned? Are you seeing increased uh, calls coming in to say, look, I'd like to sell X asset or I'd like to do a bit of a buy-in because I believe there are stressed assets out there? What's the mood domestically when it comes to M&A? I think the domestic mood is, is mixed. Okay, so you again can you know categorize companies into a, a couple of buckets here. You have the companies which are the highly leveraged companies which borrowed significantly in the 07, 06 to 08 era, I would say, through either FCCBs, you know, convertible bonds or external commercial borrowings. And so now, when the cycle growth cycle has slowed down and you know consumption buying is a little under pressure. Obviously, the balance sheets are under pressure. And for them, it's about reducing debt, hiving off non-core. So clearly, that's one theme. And again, it's, it's good from an M&A point of view. I mean, because from a legal point of view, you know, whether a client, a client wants to sell or buy, I mean, you're going to be involved in, in either case. So then you have, you have that type of a corporate. And then you've got others who are less leveraged, who have some gunpowder on their balance sheets, who've done well over the last few years in, in, you know, after Lehman you know, in 2009, 2010, when you know, there was this huge growth spurt. And they're looking for companies which are in distress, assets which are a little less valued, and waiting to deploy, both in India and abroad. So I think all told, you know, between these two sets, I think firms are busy because you know, work needs to be done. There is slowness in decision making because of the rupee issue, but you know it's not as if activity has gone away, and people are just being opportunistic and and and, and waiting for the moment. Let's talk about uh, one law which probably has been talked about the most in the last few months, and that is the whole competition law. Uh, how do you see this whole thing evolving? Because uh, I'm not talking about specific orders here, but I'm just saying it's such an evolving situation, and you are having very strong measures being announced and taken. Uh, which way do you think we're going to go? I think this is here to stay, and in my opinion, for the good. I mean, if you look at Europe, if you look at the US, I mean, in Europe, you've got the EU directive, which has been there since the early 80s. In the US, you've got the Hart-Scott-Rodino Act, and that's been around for decades now. And you know companies like Microsoft have you know had have been penalized you know into the hundreds of millions of euros and dollars in, in each continent. I think the Indian corporate and even the large Indian you know multinationals have probably not seen anything like this before, primarily because you know although the MRTP existed for a few decades and there were adverse orders, the penalties were never so high, you know, and it was all you know reasonably well managed. Is there a lot of preemptive calling that you're getting from corporates to say, look, how Absolutely. can we ring fence ourselves that we don't end up violating this law? Has that started? Has that concern Absolutely. started? Absolutely. Absolutely. Very much so. India it's, Inc. is concerned about this. It is concerned about this because this is a, a balance sheet impact. I mean, even if you, 
appeal against an order and assume that that appeal remains pending you know assume you've got an order passed against you in march you'll have to still show it in your balance sheet as as a pending order and that's going to impact your your financials your your ratings and everything mm. so yes i mean india inc is concerned about it and india inc is trying to get educated about it and trying to seek you know competent legal help not just in india but also internationally because some of the precedents on cartelization etc are international precedents and even the cci relies upon them so yes there is a huge concern but needless to say anti competitive practices and and how they can you know be proved and how they can come to haunt you are being discussed in boardrooms i think you know typically your distributors your sales forces you know that's really one pain point that has been identified so what do you really need to do what kind of training do these people need how much does the management need to get involved at that all of these things are being looked at and and being discussed right now with that it's time to wrap this edition of the court room we really look forward for your feedback our email address and twitter handle are on your screen right now but before you go take a look at the court room calendar for the coming week thank you for watching